Hey everyone, Laughing Boy here. Just wanted to do a quick video following yesterday's unboxing uh, regarding setting up a table. So I spent most of last night punching out all of the card uh, from the card sheets you saw yesterday. Uh, and this is what I've kind of ended up with. And then this morning I spent probably just over an hour putting together a table. Now it's off of the book, so there's an example table there. So I obviously had a guide to follow. Uh, it probably might take a bit longer if I was coming out of my own design, or maybe not. And I think I'd get faster at it. This is the first time I've used this stuff in anger of actually putting together a table. So I think next time I did it, I'd be a lot quicker. But about an hour anyway to get to this state. Uh, you just follow the guide uh, to be aware. You need to make sure you get the right junctions, these kind of gray bits here. Just make sure you're choosing you know, a T-junction or a, a straight piece. But otherwise, uh, it gives you a nice key to show you which bits will regard to what. So windows and doors, etc., etc. And this is what you end up with. Uh, I chose to punch out all of the windows and doors, but you keep them all and you can easily put them back uh, if you wanted to, to have closed windows and closed doors. Uh, once you've got the walls all in place, you go around and just put your incidentals in. So you're, you're dressing the table with crates and, and the computers and the shop desks and the tables and chairs, etc. And there's a whole bunch of that left if I wanted to add more, such as signs and just other bits and pieces. Uh, still more walls, so certainly, you know, a bunch more walls and windows and long pieces and short pieces if I wanted to add more. And I think you can buy expansions to add more. You could even go multi-layered, right? So there we go. I think it really works nicely uh, within an hour, like I say, on a kitchen room table, by the way. This is not using my big 6x4 table, so you can see it fits well on a dining room table. So good for those people that might have limited space to end up with what looks like a really cool playing space. So next up I'm going to try and prime all the miniatures. I might do a kind of a zenith highlight on them all just to get them to sort of, you know, nice playing pieces before I give them a proper paint job. Uh, and that's it. So there you go. Oh, by the way, I did find out what the uh, bits of cardboard were for. Excuse me, I'm having a bit of decorating done at the house at the moment. Uh, and this is to create a divider within the box. So when you put all the bits back in the box, uh, you've got a bit of a divider system. Uh, someone made a comment that on, on the Beast of War website, which I saw, and thank you very much for that. So yeah, there we go. Hope you like it. Hopefully soon I'll be doing a Let's Play, and you can see how it works. Another view of the miniatures. Right, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.